Hello and welcome to the first Spain vlog. I already announced it on uh, Insta, but from now on I will make a vlog from all my trips to Spain. One of the main reasons I make this a vlog is because I sell a lot of horses through videos and I think this is the perfect way to get to know the horses and me and a little bit how we work and all the ins and outs. I am going to pack everything for Spain now. Um, it's 35 degrees. I'm wearing a big sweater. I have no idea why, so I'm going to take that off and start. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Um, it's 3 o'clock. I'm standing in the line already for the checking in my luggage. Um, it has been crazy busy on the airport, so I left really early. This is the hotel room. Don't mind the mess has a nice bed, good pillows, then it has nice bathroom, blue, with a bath, and it's very clean, it's also oh, not always the case, unfortunately, <laughs> and then has nice walking closet, with mirror, um, yeah, so it's very affordable, but I think I already said that, <laughs> but, okay, then you can spend more money on your horse, I guess, and um, yeah, it's like a 15 minutes drive uh, from the stable, but you can also uh, take a taxi and they can just call one for you. Most of my clients have stayed here and they all like it. Oh, and they have a pool, which is also nice. So I am off to the stable. I am wearing this super nice legging from Savage Equestrian. I really love this legging. It has such a nice fit. Totally in love with it. Guillermo comes to pick me up and then it's finally time to start cuddling my Insignero. Okay, so I'm now here with Insignero, who apparently really loves apples. So He's so cute, seriously. Yum, man. Huh? He's so yum. <laughs> so sweet. I really love him already. Okay, Inshiro is a little bit busy with his food right now. So I hope he has some time in his schedule later tonight. Okay, so I gave him a quick brush. Looks a bit more decent now. It's a really cute horse, eh? Hi, Steve. How cute is this boy? Mm. So my first day with Ingeniero has come to an end. So I spent some time with him now and yeah, I can only say one thing. And that he is the sweetest soul in the world. Good morning. It's Monday morning. We're going to ride now uh, before it gets hot. It's 5.30, so very early. I'm wearing this super nice leggings from Savage Equestrian. So this horse is called Habano. He is uh, Guillermo's competition horse. He's a very good mover, very sweet boy as well. He's only four years old, but he has like a lot of talent. So just show you a little bit of his training from today. A bit sunny, sorry. Super hind leg he has. I really love this horse, <laughs> but everybody does. We try to work the four-year-olds not too much, so we let them stretch in between and they have days off. They really need their time, you know. I'm kidding. <laughs> Look 
I think it's clear to see which is the favorite horse of Guillermo. Yeah, bueno. You have like a very big box. He has the biggest stable of all. He's like the king of our stable. So I took my um, Insignero out. Uh, I'm going to wash him completely and prepare him for the photo shoot. Okay, this is seriously <laughs> my favorite. No, it's not my favorite. They're all my favorite, but it's Puerta. We call him Morenito in the stable. He's a three-year-old Lusitano. He's not ridden yet. He was really scared when he came. Just didn't know anything. But he's so gorgeous. Not everybody thinks because he has a big head, but I love that. And that eyes. You want some scratches? He loves when you scratch him. Oh, so lekker! We really made friends now. But the, his confirmation is so pretty, I think. Okay, he stands a little bit as a cow now. but. So Puerta, when he arrived, he didn't want to know anything from us. We gave him the time to learn to trust us. Uh, so he's been now for two months here and he's just doing some groundwork. So the first weeks I spent so much time just sitting in his stable, trying to bond with him. Yeah, we made a lot of progress, you know, with the young horses. I think it's important that they are learning to really trust us before you start with the work under the saddle. And yeah, we just spend a lot of time with him on the ground. What's also really cool about him, what that? Is his, he has like a little heart here. How cute is that? What are you doing? Okay, I am ready for the photo shoot. I just did my hair and a little bit of makeup, a little bit, a lot of makeup, I mean. And <laughs> now I have my uh, outfit on from Horse Gloss. I have a collaboration with them this photo shoot. They've sent me this super cool look. It's an all black riding outfit with a legging. It's a full grip legging. It has Pockets, little bit on the side, side pockets for your phone. I love that, I really need that. And then this cute belt with a rosé golden bit and then also rosé golden zipper. So all rosé golden black, love it. So now I just hope that the horses are still clean, but I'm sure they are. Positive thinking. And then Andrea will arrive at six and we start. So I speak to you later. So I am wearing the outfit from Horse Gloss. I'm going to tack up Ingeniero now and we'll start making some photos and videos. Good morning, Tuesday morning, last morning in Spain. Uh, I'm wearing this super cool We Are Pom breeches with full grip, look it's like little piece, very cool. And a Get the Gallop sweater, it's a super cool Scandinavian brand. I discovered it in Denmark when I was there for the World Championships. So definitely go check it out. Uh, I will see you later in the stable, bye. So I've prepared Junke for a sales video. I think he's not completely awake yet. Okay. So pretty this color that he has. Oh baby. I think he's ready. So it's time to say goodbye. Bye Nero.
so it's a super good boy in training. I just wanted to show you one last so thing. So we have basically stallions, uh, they're all young stallions, um, some gelding, but most In my opinion, it's really important for horses to have social contact, uh, and especially stallions. Um, and I think it's very healthy that they can actually cuddle and see each other and touch each other. So for that reason, um, we have uh, rails behind. Yeah, he's eating my tail now. Rails uh, in between all the stables, so they can see and touch each other. Hi.